Okie dokie, I'm back with another figurine video. This time we're going to make a giraffe. You can see here I've got some yellow and brown fondant and I mixed some Tylos into my fondant, which helps it set harder faster, which is perfect for figurine making. Then it was time to make the giraffe's body. I've got a larger, rounder shape at the bottom and I've sort of rolled the fondant between my hands to create that longer neck. I then grabbed a wooden skewer and poked it right down the middle of my giraffe. Now you want to make sure that you've got a little piece of the skewer sticking out the top because that's going to hold your head on, which is what I'm making now. I've got another piece of yellow fondant and I added a piece of brown to the front, which is his nose, marked in his mouth and his nostrils and stuck the head on with a little bit of water. Next up, I rolled out some more yellow fondant into a long sausage, and this is going to be his legs. I'm going to do the giraffe sitting, so he's going to need two front legs, which are straight, and two back legs, which are bent. The two front legs are wider at the bottom and skinnier up the top. I then used some brown fondant to stick to the bottom of each of his legs, and they are his hooves. It was then time to stick them to my giraffe's body. So I've got the two straight ones on the front of the body, and then the two bent ones down the bottom. And you can really see the giraffe starting to come together now. Uh, it's just the little details that are really going to finish him off. So let's start with the ears. Using more yellow fondant, I just popped those onto the sides of his head. And he's also got the ossicones. Um, could not forget those, which are the little horns. And I, I added some brown fondant to the back of his head, which is his mane. All of these pieces have been stuck on with a very small amount of water. Uh, it just makes the fondant a little bit sticky. You don't want the fondant to be slimy because everything will just slide straight off. I then added his eyes as well as some eyelashes. And then it was time for my favourite bit. It's the painting of his patches, spots, markings. <laughs> I'm using Sweet Sticks Edible Art paints and I just painted his spots all over and then allowed him to dry overnight. I was so happy with how he turned out. I think he's really cute. And there he is with some of his friends. 